a pentagonal pyramid of 40 mm side and height 66 rest on sp keeping one of its base edges perpendicular to vp a cutting plane parallel to vp cuts the solid 10 mm in front of the vertical axis draw the sectional front view and top view of the solid so this is the problem regarding a pentagonal pyramid 40 mm side and height 66 mm it is resting on the horizontal plane with one of the base edges perpendicular to vp so perpendicular to vp means perpendicular to the xy line in the top view so as this is a problem involving sectioning process the very first step is draw the symbol front view and symbol top view of the solid using type b lines that is continuous thin lines so already i have done the symbol front view and symbol top view of the solid so here one of the base edges is made perpendicular to the xy line that means this base edge will be perpendicular to vp so after obtaining the symbol front view and symbol top view next step is locate the section plane so let us go through the details regarding the section plane so a cutting plane parallel to vp that is the cutting plane is parallel to vp cuts a solid 10 mm in front of the vertical axis so here this is the axis this is the vertical axis po so in the top view it is seen as a point because the axis is vertical when you are observing from the top you can see it only as a point and now let us locate the section plane so as mentioned in the question the section plane is parallel to vp so let us assume that this is vp this ruler is our vp and let us assume that this knife the surface of this knife or this knife itself is our vert section plane so the surface of the section plane so this surface it is parallel to vp so i have made it parallel to vp so when the section plane is made parallel to vp and when you are observing from the top the section plane seems to be a line in the top view now where it is located it is located 10 mm in front of the vertical axis so this point is our vertical axis po so 10 mm in front our section plane will be somewhere here now let us draw the section plane I have marked the section plane. It is a continuous thick line inside the solid, and it is a chain line outside the solid. The ends of the section plane are slightly thickened at either ends, and I have written it as HT. HT means horizontal trace. Why it is written as horizontal trace? So this section plane is parallel to the surface of the vertical plane. and as it is parallel to vp it will be perpendicular to hp so when it is perpendicular to hp and when you are cutting the solid definitely this section plane will be meeting with the horizontal plane so that it will be having a horizontal trace and in this case i have marked two arrow heads here so what does it mean it means that after the sectioning process the section the surface will be visible in this direction when you're observing in the front view this is the direction in which this solid is to be viewed to get a clear idea of the section surface after locating the section plane the next procedure is marking the meeting points of the section plane with the various base edges and slanting edges of the 
pentagonal pyramid so let us do it one by one so here we are having a meeting point of base edge ae and the section plane let us mark it as one here slanting edge pe and the section plane is meeting let us mark the meeting point as two slanting edge pd and the section plane is meeting in this point let us mark it as three base edge dc and the section plane is meeting here let us mark it as four so here we are having four meeting points one two three four now we have to transfer all these points to the front view let us do it one by one one is on the base edge a so as base edge a e is perpendicular to vp it seems to be a point in the front view so when you transfer point one to the front view this point itself will be one dash next is two two is on p e so this is p dash e dash in the front view let us transfer it to that point Three is on PD, so this is PD in the front view. Four is on base edge DC, so this is base edge DC in the front view. Now let us join one dash, two dash, three dash, four dash, and four dash, one dash using continuous thick lines. After joining this region, one dash, two dash, three dash, four dash, one dash is known as the sectioned surface. So, in order to indicate that it is a sectioned surface, we have to hatch the inside region of the surface using hatching lines. Hatching lines are thin lines which are at an angle of 45 degree to the x y line, and they must be equally spaced. The spacing between the hatching lines depend upon the size of the corresponding section surface so now let us draw the hatching lines please take a note of the distance between the hatching lines if the diagram is big the lines spacing can be taken more if the diagram is small the spacing between these two lines and these two lines they can be made small but all the lines must be equally spaced after drawing the hatching lines the next procedure is drawing the remaining regions in the top view after the sectioning process so after the sectioning process this area will be removed and this area will be remaining so let us mark the remaining regions in the top view and front view using thick lines 1a is remaining in the front view 1a is a point so we need not draw it as a line ab is remaining in the top view here ab is already here bc is remaining so bc Four C is remaining. Already four C is here. Now let us come to the slanting edges. P A is remaining. So 
सो पी ए already here we are having a thick line pb is remaining in the front view b is invisible so the line joining p dash and b dash must be dash thick lines PC is remaining PC PD is not completely remaining it is only up to 3 so P3 is remaining so P3 so here we are having an overlap of invisible line and visible line so we have to draw continuous thick line up to 3 dash from p dash p2 is remaining already we have p2 here so we have completed the diagram now the area 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash and 4 dash 1 dash this enclosed region is known as the true shape of the section why it is known as the true shape of the section because in this case the section plane is parallel to vp so when the section plane is parallel to vp if you are observing it in this direction the solid in this direction a clear idea of the section surface will be obtained in the front view itself because only because the section surface or the section plane is parallel to vp so here this area will be having its true dimension that is why it is known as true shape of the section and this figure is known as a top view and this you can call it as a sectional front view Once again, we shall go through the procedure of the construction. First step is draw the symbol top view and symbol front view using type B lines. Second step is draw the section plane. Third step is mark the meeting points of the section plane with the various base edges and slanting edges of the solid as one, two, three, four. Transfer this one, two, three, four to the front view. Join. 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 4 dash 1 dash using thick lines hash this region after which we'll be drawing the remaining portion in the top view along with the remaining portion in the front view and after that we can do the dimensioning process